morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where or where you're watching. It's me, your friend, neighborhood DJ, DJ Jimmy. And it's Monday. We made it through the weekend. Hooray for us. And now we go back to doing whatever it is that we do do on a Monday. Oh, well. Back to work. Back to work for me, anyway. Ah, uh, let's see. Hope you had a great weekend. My weekend was pretty good. My weekend was pretty good. Last night, though, uh, I asked keep Brenda in your thoughts and prayers. She's having some, some issues with her left knee. And we wound up in the local emergency room last night. And she had some x-rays done. And we're, we're waiting to get into the see the orthopedist. We don't think she's going to need a replacement on this one. We think it's just a little bit of, you know, tendon thing and maybe a little bit of... Uh, you know, arthritis, you know, that guy shows up every once in a while and when as you get older. And, yeah, me too, you know. I, I mean, that problem with, with that finger. Not the driving finger, but the other one. And, you know, that's... We had a good weekend at church. You know, it was a good weekend, you know. What else can I tell you? Ah, it's Halloween week. Yeah, I, it's Halloween week. I walk into the store, I see all the Halloween decorations going crazy. <laughs> what do I see? Christmas! Uh, could I at least have my turkey and maybe a little bit of sugar-free chocolate? You know? Haven't even finished Halloween and we've got Christmas out. <sighs> Makes no sense. Anyway, what are we doing today? Well, let's get into the software first. And we're going with uh, an offering from uh, Vanillet and Monica. This guy right here. Going to try to keep with the Halloween type vibe and theme going on here. Resurrected. Now, Monica and I spoke about doing a label like this on another product which shall remain nameless. And uh, she went with this one. It's a nice scent. Uh, it says this is a very dirty barbershop scent. Okay. She says that the, the scent notes are dirt, driftwood, sandalwood, galbanum, lime, oak moss, Haiti vetiver, baby powder, white pepper, and lavender. Well, I have used this before. It's the, the usual, can you see it? The rosettes that Monica does in her pour. I definitely get the drift, driftwood, the sandalwood, a little bit of the baby powder, And the lavender. I'm hitting I'm getting a little bit of rose in there, but that just be my might be my schnoz, you know. Rose is not listed. It could be part of the combinations. But it's kind of nice. It's it's a it's a barbershop scent. It, I don't get the, the dirt. But maybe it's just the, the darker scents that are in this that uh, cause dirt. Or maybe there is a Dirt scent oil or whatever. Who knows? I'm not a perfumer. I'm not an expert. I'm just a shave guy. And that's what I'm getting. Anyway. We got the EDP. And uh, that's not an EDP. <laughs> no caffeine yet. This would be the aftershave. This is the EDP. There you go. Let's go hardware. My metal bowl from Pete Hendricks over at HCNC. Brush wise, barbershoppy, I'm going with the Simpson. The X2L, putting that in my in my mug. What's our driver today? What are we shaving with? Well, Erwin over at Zomchi. 
asked me if I would check out their new one of their new offerings. This is the thin handle, thin bamboo handle laser. You can see it's kind of a, a scallop, straight bar. It's not an open comb. The, the sides, if you look at it, reminds me a little bit of, you know, maybe a, a Rockwell design. Like I said, I'm no expert. I'm just a guy that likes to shave. But that's what it looks like to me anyway. It's got a nice, nice feel to it. It says here that the weight is somewhere around 90 grams or three ounces. The handle is about three seven eighths. Got a nice solid feel to it. It's three piece design. Erwin and I were talking about the their butterfly design, but they, they've pulled it from their website because they weren't happy with what went on. So, how it was coming out. But yeah, this is kind of reminiscent of a, of a Rockwell head, at least, at least to me anyway. Oops. Hold that thought. Things happen. No damage. I'm going to load a rock, um, one of my favorite blades. When they sent it to me, they sent it to me with, with a tuck of their blades. But if I'm testing a, uh, a razor for the first time, I like to go with an old standard, no reliable, brand new Astra Green. And this is one of the, uh, this guy right there. This is one of the made in Russia Astras. So let me let me just show this loading here. Ah. Oh come on. There we go. That's how it loads. Make sure we put the base cap on properly. Just screw it on. There we go. The blade gap and everything was not on the website, but the handle, I think it's, it's they say it's bamboo, it feels wood. But I think it's wood wrapped around metal. Yeah. I don't I don't know whether it's painted on or it, it's bamboo that but it has a feel of wood. And there's the exposure of that. Interesting stuff. Like I said, the blade gap and the aggressiveness was not on there. I've seen some other reviews from other shavers. They said it's kind of in the middle of the road. So, we'll find out. Won't we? So, that's, that's that. Anywho, I'm going to go make a leather, and I'm going to be right back. Oh, by the way, why are there two doors on a chicken coop? Because if there were four doors, it would be a chicken sedan. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be right back. Hey, and I'm back and I finished making the lather. Let me, let me show you what we got here. Peace. Ooh, yogurty. Nice and thick. Mm -hmm. Yummy. And there's that scent. That, the, as the lather, there's a little bit more of that baby powder type thing and the floral comes out. Like I said, I'm, I'm getting a little rose in this, but like I said, that's just me. There we go. Perfect. Already taking care of two of the three S's. Let's get to the third, shall we? Let's get to the shave. Let's get a little water on the face because we all know hydration 
is important. Like I said, I've, I've used this Resurrected before. I've used Monica's, a lot of Vanillet products. I've not had issues with cushions or anything like that. She's, she's got a good base. That natural stuff, the emu oils and other oils that she uses in here. And it goes really well. Not had, like I said, any issues with the products themselves. I mean, shaving soap's not the only, the only thing that Monica does. She does some, some natural pain relief stuff. Which is like... Drum practice is at 2 o'clock. This stuff here... Great natural alternative to things like Bengay and the blue, whatever it is. Good stuff. Check out our website, vanuelay.com. I'm sure that she'll appreciate the visits and, the, and the, the business. I'm sure you'll find something there. She does a lot of like plastic molds and resin molds. She does bowls and that sort of thing. Check it out. Anyway, here's the zonchi. I got some water on it. Let's get to the shaving, shall we? Okay. Not a lot of blade feel. So I would agree with everybody else. It's a, a middle of the road. As far as aggression is concerned, cleans up good. A couple of the guys said that it's a matter of getting used to the angle on this. Get your angle right. So, so far, I'm not having an issue. Let me give it a little stretch here because I know. I usually leave a little there. It's a mild feel. I'll tell you that right now. But it's doing a good job. Didn't preach this weekend. Because it was uh, time for the Catholic service, what they call the Catholic services appeal. We try to raise money. For all the different projects that are going on in the diocese. So the pastor needed to talk it up. Not that I couldn't talk it up, but he wanted to talk it up. So 
He's the pastor. I always say there's three three ways to do things when it comes to mass. The right way, the wrong way, and the pastor's way. So that's how he makes the <clears throat> big bucks. Yeah, right. Anyway, first pass is done. Let's see how we did. All right. Not terrible. Like I said, it is a, a mild middle of the road. I think it leans more toward the mild side. My opinion. But is anything wrong with that? No. I think this would be a, a good razor to be a daily driver. It would be a good razor. For beginners, because it's not a lot of blade feel, and like I said, it's middle of the road to mild, you know, on the scale, you know, that sort of thing. Right about there. That's where I would put it. So let's it does a nice job. Because I'm using, you know, my my go-to, what, what I would consider, at least for me, my benchmark blade, which is my my Astro Green. Maybe things would be a little different, you know, with something like a Kai or a Feather or one of the other high-end sharp blades. But but. Not bad. Like I said, light to middle of the road. But of course, your shaving experience may vary. Like I said, the uh, the soap, vanille, never had an issue with the cushion or anything. It's got a nice scent to it. It's a bar it's a barber shoppy. It's a dark barber shop. Let's leave it at that. All right. Yeah, I just remembered. I didn't plug my car in last night. Oh, well. It, it'll run on gas. It's a hybrid. And the battery will charge itself up afterwards. Dumb. I guess with everything going on with the missus, you know, some things... 
and you forget. Let's do a, a third pass because it needs it. Like I said, this is a mild to medium. So it's going to take all three passes. All right. Of course, I'm going to clear the lips so you can see what I'm saying. All right, pass number three. Mm. Itch. It's going into the 90s to me. There's no issue with the size of the head on this. So you can get under here. Pretty good. And with Monica soap, that's just water. And that's the residual. Nice. No issues. Good post shave feel. A little operator error here. I felt that, but that's okay. Can't blame the razor. At least not this time. There we go. Third pass is done. Let's give a quick rinse. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Three passes. We're good. We are real good. Towel. Thanks to the Hoff for this towel. Doing a good job. Let's do it. The old Frankie Dry, you know? You know what I mean? Little hand. Like a bat. Some bat's so crazy, you know that. And that little spot, but it's, it's already closing up. I'm not going to use the yellow block. Don't really think I need it. Toss. Just a bit outside. Ah, speaking of which, Yankees, come on, guys. Get your act together. Game one was good. It was close. Shake your act, shake. Shake that act, shake. Game two, guys, bring the hardware back to New York, please. Anyway, let's get a little... Mm. Oh, that's nice. Lime, baby powder, sandalwood, the floral. Nice. Very nice. It's a, it's a barbershop scent. It's a dark barbershop scent.
and the spritz that'll dry off nice this is good it's a good set it's great for a halloween theme or anytime if you want a barbershop scent it's good resurrected by vanulay and the driver for today well let's get the rest of it hendrix bowl simpson brush and our driver the Zomchi thin bamboo handle like I said mild to medium does a good job three passes on BBS anyway that's our shave for today if shaving is not one of the most exhilarating parts of your day you might be doing something wrong as always be good to yourselves and to each other have a great day smooth shaves. We'll see you on Monday for Italian Shave Day. Ciao for now. Maestro, if you please.